Welcome to Mount Rushmore's, the show where we rank our top four anythings. I'm Jamard. And I'm Ella, and today we'll be ranking our top cereals. We are now joined by a special guest, Mrs. Ferrati. Hi guys, I'm so excited. Miss Rodney, why did you want to? Sorry, I didn't mean to interview. No, I was ready. I'm like, oh my gosh, Sarah. So I have what I would like to say: the taste of a four year old. I enjoy chicken nuggets, grilled cheese, yeah, all the basic toddler foods, and obviously cereal is mm-hmm. like my number one dinner. Okay, fair though. Like <laughs> so all good food. I, yes, I am ready for this. All yes. right. Do does anyone want to start with their number one? I uh, go right to the top. Or, oh, yeah. or do you want to start like bottom and then go up? I feel like we should just start right at the top. Oh yeah, my gosh, agreed. this is a lot of pressure. Okay. Right off the bat, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Like, agreed. That was my number one like, as well. There's, so, there's no way. I was At first I was like, yes, def- definitely Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But there is another cereal out there that ranks above it. And most people have not tried it. What? But you need to. Chocolate Chex. Chocolate Chex. Let me look. I will be bringing in chocolate checks okay. on Monday for you to try. It okay. is amazing. Okay. There's the chocolate piece that has all the chocolate mm-hmm. sugar on it, and then there's the vanilla piece that has all the vanilla sugar on it. It is amazing. Okay. Chocolate like chocolate Cheerios, I like, but like better. chocolate Cheerios, I thought were disgusting. I don't know. I think like I know like there's decent. just something about because then Cheerios. they leave the chocolate. Milk. Yeah. That. Do you guys drink the milk? Sometimes I will. If it's like still like cold, I will. But if it's like gross, if it gets warm, I'm disgusting. like disgusting. Down the drain, right? Yes. right immediately down it the drain. Depends. It really depends for me because like some oh, like okay, Lucky Charms. I used to love Lucky Charms. I used to love the milk. Now I'm like disgusted by it. The milk it. is like nauseating. Like it's, yeah. Oh my god, everything mm-hmm. about it is horrid. It makes me feel sick to my stomach. I've never seen chocolate checks before. And this is why it's a secret. Like people, yeah. you wouldn't think to try any checks because they sound like old people cereal. Yeah. You have to try <laughs> well. it. Well, like every time I think of, I see checks, I just think of like cardboard. I don't know why. Yes, exactly. Because you think of old people. They're like, oh, well, I gotta get my fiber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to try the chocolate checks. I okay. will try them actually. Right, but yeah, I, I also like try. my cereal dry. That's Me too. Thing. Really? Yeah. So I told you I have the bag yeah. of Fruit Loops in my desk drawer because I just snack on it all day. Oh, I would think that like you got like a bowl and no, milk. No, I just snack on it. No, like, and chocolate really checks yeah. is a great one to snack on all day long. That's good. Okay. Busted Flakes is another one that's good yeah, to snack on true. all day long. Really? Dry. You yeah. don't think Very they're good. like, I feel like the pieces aren't big enough to like eat. I don't know. Well, like sometimes I, I have it dry with a spoon, like yeah. a bowl and spoon. That's odd. What? Wait, so wait, 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 wait. You eat them dry with you a put, spoon? Yeah. You put them in a bowl and then you use a spoon? And eat it dry, yes. Oh, I just use my hands. Same. Yeah. Like for so frosted that. flakes? For any dry for any cereal. Dry. Oh, not for all dry cereals, specifically for frosted flakes. Because oh, okay. Okay, cause the pieces yeah. aren't big enough yeah. to like. And then same thing with Cinnamon Toast Crunch, just because. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Your hands are I don't, yeah. oh, don't want to get my yeah, hands true. dirty. Okay, yeah. Yeah, fair. Okay, number two. My number two just switched, but I think I have it down. Oh. So you want to go first? No, you you go. You got Number it. two, I this I feel like this cereal is generally so underrated. Like people don't really like say enough about it. Apple Jacks. I love wow. Apple Jacks. Apple Jacks are underrated. They yep. they are. They are I good. I love Apple Jacks. Like, I don't know, like it just tastes so good. And what I like a cereal that like even when it gets soggy, it's still being able to because some cereal, like when it gets soggy, like it's to the trash. But Apple Jacks is one of the cereals where like you can actually eat it soggy and like it wouldn't be that bad hmm. as opposed to like fruity pebbles that taste disgusting, disgusting absolutely that. disgusting like it's just mush at that it, point. yeah it's disgusting <laughs> i agree my number two was cinnamon toast crunch mm. okay my number two is fruit loops ah i love fruit See, loops. like yeah. but after a while like yeah. i can only have like a bowl like I can't have more than bowl. Like, I think the taste just starts getting too artificial. Yeah. I agree. I, agree. I think with Fruit Loops, like, I feel like most people like Fruit Loops and, like, feel so-so about Apple Jacks. I'm the opposite. I love Apple Jacks and feel so-so about Fruit Loops. Okay. My kids thought Fruit Loops were healthy <laughs> because they said fruit. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> but the Mandela effect, that it's F-R-O-O-T yes. and not F-R-U-I-T. Oh, it is. I actually That's, never like, liked- one of the biggest, like, that I've seen recently. Mm. I don't know what that is. A Mandela effect? Yeah. It's like a 
thing that you thought was but wasn't like what's another one jamar um, <laughs> that was like the worst explanation so it's ever. called <laughs> like the, like a lot of people think the monopoly man has like a mon- monocle but he yeah. doesn't oh wait i'll look it up really I'll show you. so people think fruit loops is like, f-r-u-i-t but it's really not it's f-r-o-o-t it's like, yeah. yeah like more so fun. like this is what people think it is but it's really that he really doesn't have one Oh, that's crazy. Wow. Yeah, and like the fruit of the loom, it it doesn't you know how people think it has the basket on it? Yeah. Does it, it not? No, fruit of the loom doesn't. Really? Wait, yeah. You didn't look. Why did I always that's think it had crazy. a basket? But like I've seen on TikTok, like people have like said that like fruit of the loom is now like they're they are taken away and they, anything that has the basket on it, they've like taken down because like they're trying to like gaslight people. I, I see some of the weirdest stuff. Like, yeah. I, I don't know if it's true, but I literally then saw a TikTok of this girl that found, like, a T-shirt that was for Loom, and there was literally, like, the basket thing behind it. Wow. So, like, wow. people think that, like, companies are going so far into this. I don't know. That is. But, like, I see some weird conspiracy TikToks, and I'm like, all right, that's a little far fetched. But, <laughs> you're, all right. Anyways. Algorithm is very curious. <laughs> all right. Okay, number three? Anyways. <laughs> all right. So, my number three, I would think of as an old person cereal. I feel like... I don't know. Something in my spirit just feels like we're, we're about to have the same number three. Special K red berries? Never mind. Nope, I, I, never I, don't I don't know what that means. I, I, don't know what that I means. think, I, think yeah. I know what you were going to say. What? Honey Nut Cheerios. I was, you see, Honey Nut Cheerios was my oh, number I four. Okay. I was going to say the Honey Bunches of Oats. Oh. I have to show you a picture. Wait, I don't think I've ever had. Okay, it's well, like, my number, it's like this kind of, sorry. My number three was Apple Jacks. So. Oh. Yeah. There you go. I yeah. love Apple Jacks. Honey Bunches of Oats. You've never had it? It's, like, by far, like, I feel like it's, like, one of the most underrated cereals in addition to Apple Jacks. <laughs> like, these ones, they're so good. They have, like, granola oh. in them. Oh. I love them. I may have to try them. Even with milk, like, without milk, with milk, they're both, like, good. Okay. I love them. And okay. you eat it dry with a spoon? <laughs> yes. This well, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dry with a spoon. I think, like, only, like... Apple Jacks, Fruit Loops, Honey Nut Cheerios, and even sometimes Honey Nut Cheerios can get a little sticky. So those yeah, are I mean, yeah, most of it, I mean, most, most cereals, but are, again, yeah. Yeah. You, you can't eat dry cereal with a spoon. I I do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, like, psychotic. I think it's normal. <laughs> yes. I think it's normal. It's all right. We still like you, Jamari. <laughs> <It's all right. laughs> We're not judging. All right. <laughs> Silently. Okay, number four. <laughs> My number four, and I don't really even know. I just honestly, I couldn't think of another one. I was between Honey Nut Cheerios and Lucky Charms. Because Mm. sometimes, like, a good bowl of Lucky Charms is just, like, it's just, like, wow. It's, like, that, like, first pour when you first open the bag. But then, like, once you start to, like, go deeper into the bag, it just gets worse. Yeah. I despise marshmallows. Low-key, I'm the same. I used to love, I used to absolutely love lucky charms like i would literally eat like three bowls of lucky charms in one sitting like when i was like in elementary school like i love yeah, no i would do the loved same it. but then like okay first things first i was always i always hated that lucky charms like at the bottom you just had like all like the nasty gunk and then the fact yeah. that the, the milk <laughs> yeah. like changed color and then changed taste yeah that was that it's, was it's a little nauseating yeah. the way that it turns like a green blue on it's it, but, disgusting you know. yeah and then I don't really, I'm not like, like in s'mores, I literally just eat the chocolate because I don't like marshmallows. But I used to like Lucky Charms marshmallows because they didn't feel like marshmallows to me. But there's just something about them now that like, it just gives me the ick. Yes. But anything with marshmallow, I'm like, nope. Yeah. I'm not a marshmallow person. Spice them. See, like I love a good marshmallow. A good s'more? Like a good s'more or even just like a, just a marshmallow. Just like a marshmallow, marshmallow? And my like hot chocolate, like. Mm. Uh, no. I no. can't do that either. Now I can make one of the best s'mores. Oh, okay. I am very good at making them. But you do you but you eat the marshmallow? I would never eat it. My oh, sister's goodbye. like that. She'll <laughs> yeah. like make a good s'more, but I don't want My marshmallow yeah. is toasted perfectly. Yeah. Mm. You got to get a little burnt. Oh, no. It's golden brown the whole oh, time. Oh, oh. All right. Golden All right. brown? Golden brown. Oh, got yeah. it. So my number four cannot be soggy. Okay. Fruity pebbles. Ew, no. <laughs> you lost me there. Oh my God. Me and Jamar were talking you about this before. No, nope, Fruity Pebbles gone immediately. No. <laughs> it's nope. not. So you have to pour just a little bit. 
mm-hmm. and then a little bit of milk, so mm-hmm. they're crunchy the whole time, and then you got to pour a little bit more when you're done. So they're, again, they're crunchy the entire time. Nope. <laughs> that was actually my least favorite. Your least favorite? I hate, hate with a passion Fruity Pebbles. Oh, wow. Also, okay, I, I hate Cocoa as as Pebbles. You, I was about to say, Cocoa yeah. Pebbles too? Cocoa Pebbles. Just the Pebbles in general. Hate them. <laughs> On that same vein, hate Cocoa Puffs too. Yeah. Um, I hate Cocoa Puffs. Okay, so what was your four? Oh, my four was Honey Nut Cheerios. Okay, I right, love right. Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah, and yeah, those stay those crispy. Good. Exactly. The whole time. And then I don't mind. I don't mind when a Honey Nut Cheerio gets soggy because I feel like it actually tastes kind of good soggy. <laughs> yeah, like a little soggy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, my like least favorite. I kind of have a lot, but I honestly don't ra- raisin bran. I think, like, I just I think immediately that's real. think of like that. Probably no. would have been my number five. Really, I love. Raisins. I also like, really? hate raisins. So mm, like, that's real. Why? Why are we putting raisins in, in cereal? cereal? Exactly. <laughs> like, do that. Like, make that your own add-in. Like, you know what I mean? Right. No. So raisin bran, though, you can't eat the raisins dry. They taste really bad. That's not surprising. So I you I have, can't they eat have a raisin to be period. Milk. <laughs> so, but they're coated with. I think they're coated in sugar. I'm not quite sure. Oh. And tricks, which my if my sister oh. listens to this podcast, she will hate Wait, me. Tricks, tricks, tricks. Hated that too. They're disgusting. Oh, tricks yogurt is nasty. so like they had they really got yogurt down to a science. I don't know what happened when they were making their cereal, but it's not good. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not good. It's awful. Yeah, they taste horrible. Tricks. Yeah, but my least favorite is going to be Lucky Charms because of the marshmallows. Okay. Yeah. I can't. Any honorable mentions? Mine was Raisin Bran. <laughs> I think my honorable mention is Frosted Flakes. I was also going to say yeah. the exact same thing, Frosted Flakes. I love Frosted Flakes. Honestly, even, like, just a good corn flake. Like, yeah. uh, something about it. Like, regular Cheerios, like, I can't do. Yeah. Oh. But, like, Agreed. a regular corn, like, corn flake, flake, like, I could, I, could, I could get behind that. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. I'm and also, like, if you don't have Frosted Flakes at home and you really want some, but you have corn flakes... You just put a little like sugar, sugar on top yep. of it, and yes. there you go. Yeah, I love. I do. I do enjoy normal. Like sometimes flakes. even that is just better because it's like not as sugary, but you're still getting like the little sweet. Exactly, it's pretty good. Have we the Googled the like the top cereal in the United States? No, but we can. It definitely. I feel like my guess before we even see it, I think it's going to be Lucky Charms, most likely. I think it's going to be one of the Cheerios. I think it's going to be Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Or, yeah, actually, or... Because I feel like <gasps> a lot... What is it? You're going to be... It's a surprise. It's like, what oh, is my it? God. What is it? Rice Krispies. I'm not surprised. Really? Like, that and then is Cheerios like, and then yeah. Chucks. Yeah. Lucky Charms is five. CTC is six. Really? Yeah. That surprised me. Yeah, that is really surprising. That's probably based on sales. Because think about the moms. They're not buying the Lucky Charms. That's true. Because no, then you'll like have the, the kids Cheerios. jumping yeah. off the walls. Yeah. Cheerios cool. isn't surprising. Only I this Cheerios mom buys the Lucky Charms. <laughs> 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 My kids love Lucky Charms. And also Reese's Puffs. Hate those too. Never had. The, well, they're similar to the Cocoa Oh. Cocoa Puffs and the Puffs and yeah. tricks. Oh, and now like Oreo and Chips Ahoy try to make cereal, and I'm just like, it's not good. Yeah. Get out! Like, D- why are you in? You're in the wrong cookies. aisle. In the wrong aisle. Stick to cookies. <laughs> yeah, and the, it's not good cereal. I also think with uh, maybe it's just me. I just feel like some cereals, like Sphere, Sphere, like the shape is actually Sphere. I just always think that they're bad, and I'm never wrong. Like they always just tend to be bad. <laughs> they're just not for me. I used to love around Halloween. They did like the. Count Dracula cereal. Yeah. The oh. monster cereal. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't taste good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? I also, this is another honorable mention. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this one, but I love, I used to love it. I haven't had it in years at this point, like probably not since elementary school, but I love Crave. Oh, oh we yes. tried it recently in my house. The Nobody chocolate liked crave? it. Is I it the loved cho- it. The, it's yeah. like chocolate yep. filled. Yep. I've never had it, but I've always them. seen it. And I, yeah. We had to throw it out. Nobody would eat it. Really? Yeah. You didn't eat it? No, it was you not good. It I know you didn't I like it? No. I enjoy it. No. It was I think it's good. like, it's such a great like snack. Great dry cereal choice. Well, it tastes bad, but the shape <laughs> of it and, and great, not with a spoon, of course. The idea yeah. of it is a good dry cereal. Yeah, yes. But no, it was terrible. You know, I like, I have it dry. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I would never put milk in it, but I think it's like a good like snack. No. Everybody at the Ferrati household 
voted Said no. no. You didn't even like it? No. Not dry? No. I'm, I'm surprised. No. I, I was surprised kind of too. Your kind of snack. I know. Yeah. Right, I'll have to go buy some later. I'm going to go tonight. I would so try. Most importantly, you have to try the chocolate checks. Okay, I, I will. don't. I'll I have very low too. expectations from that. <laughs> Chex Mix is pretty good. I do like Chex Mix. But you know Chex the cereal, Muddy Buddies? Just, Did you me. ever have Muddy Buddies? Oh, no. Muddy Buddies are I have so to look good. At that. that is chocolate Chex. Oh. Yes. Okay, I'm buying them later. Oh, or I'm going to so tell my dad, good. Dad, so good. dad, buy some. Jamarda, I wish you were here on Monday. Why you brought money buddies? I will no this upcoming Monday. I will bring. Oh, I will literally checks. be here. Okay. Oh, you're you're not because I'm uh, my internship starts later because I have a piece. Oh, films. chocolate checks. <laughs> this is Friday's office. Okay, okay Monday. Yeah. Seven twenty a.m. Seven twenty. Seven twenty. Got it. Not with milk and no, no spoons. No milk. Well, no spoons. No promise about the spoons, but oh, milk, God. milk is not. Brad's gonna bring his own spoon. I feel like dry <laughs> dry cereal like. Obviously not in every scenario. I'm not going to put it in a bag and then take a spoon. But if I have if I have <laughs> access to a bowl and a spoon, I'm going to put it in a bowl and a spoon. No, I think that's normal. It's not normal. We it's should put a poll on Twitter. <laughs> we should we should put a poll on Twitter. If you're eating dry All cereal, right, we're, we're putting a poll on the advocate right now. Yeah, do it. Okay, I'm doing it right now. I mean, are you actually I'm doing it? right Yeah, now. <laughs> I need it. So, what is the next top four? The next top four. I don't know. You have no clue. I think we should do chicken nuggets. That would be a good what one. What do you mean? The like best. The, where to get the best chicken Where nuggets? to get yeah. the best chicken nuggets. Oh, that's good. Okay. Are you going to come back for that one? I'm in. I already All right, have you're back, time. and then we'll we'll bring another special guest, too, because we can have four people. That's true. Yeah. We'll bring you both. So, but I don't think anyone eats the way that I do, so you may. But, like, what's your favorite? Well, actually, we'll save that for the podcast. But how often would you say you eat chicken nuggets? Multiple times per week. <laughs> like, when was the last time you had chicken nuggets this week? Um, last night, Wednesday. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> like here, or like for dinner. For dinner. <laughs> <laughs> like you made it, or like you went no, out. No, we it. went out. We got McDonald's. <laughs> 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 we had the softball game. We didn't get out till seven thirty. I was like, all right, chicken nuggets. Yeah, and I'm also getting them today for lunch. From, oh wow! From where? McDonald's. Chick Fil A. Oh. oh. Okay. What sauce is the question, though? No, Chick Fil A sauce is bad. Whoa. Oh my god. Chick fil A sauce is bad. Chick fil A is really overrated. All right, Jamar, get oh. out. I'm sorry. We're done with you. Chick fil A sauce, like, guys, let's, okay, let's think about it just for one minute. Chick fil A sauce is honey mustard, and we've been conditioned to think. That's a lie. No, it's, you're, it's a, a lie. lie. I've made it before. Yeah. It's honey mustard with mayo, barbecue sauce, and lemon juice. It is like that the best. That sounds of disgusting. <laughs> no. All right. Yeah, it's, it's bad. Not. And some <laughs> but honey. But it's so good. It's the best of all worlds. No. Mm. It's amazing. It's literally a glorified honey mustard. No, no, no. it doesn't taste like honey mustard. It tastes exactly like I had it for the first time. Was like, this this is what everyone has lost their minds. This it ketchup tastes, is objectively no. better. <gasps> no, blasphemy. I think that's real. But only Chick Fil A sauce. Yeah, no other sauce. No, I mean I don't d dislike their other sauces, but I only get Chick Fil A when I get Chick Fil A, so I feel like I need to stick to it. Okay, yeah, yeah fair. At McDonald's, it's the sweet and sour sauce. Yeah, that's real. Same yeah, with Wendy's real. too, sweet and sour. We should have a chicken nugget taste test. We <laughs> wanted to do like a Popeyes ASMR one day. We should a mukbang of Popeyes. A mukbang. We should mukbang. But we could do a mukbang of chicken tender. You guys are speaking yeah. terms that I don't understand. It's basically when you like <laughs> when a group of people come together and record themselves eating a meal and like talk while they do it. All right, I'm in. Okay. <laughs> we should do it, actually. Popeyes is that? Yeah. Well, like we had talked about this, but it really does not matter. I think it's just we be can a fun do thing whatever. To do. We yeah, can we can do, do whatever. Just McDonald's. Yeah. Wendy's. Taco Convenient. Bell. You both look disgusted. I'm now. iffy about. I don't I, know. I've heard things. No. Taco Bell for me is a no. Have you ever had it? I have. Have you? I have. Okay. All right. As but long as you've tried here. it. I've had like the Baja Bus. I thought that was good. Yeah. But like the food, I don't know. I think I, it I really, it's it. so relative and I don't like places that are relative. Like Silver Sands Pizza, feel the same way about it. I don't like Silver Sands Pizza anymore. I don't anymore. think Silver Sands Pizza is good. And I think it's like so relative. I would relative. so much That's rather go get a pizza anywhere else. Yeah. Like I think Honey Spot or Bell and Napoli's even, is better. I think I love Bell, Bell and Napoli's, but Silver... And maybe, I think it's because, like... Because I, I, like, go to Boys and Girls Club, like, literally every single day. So that's, like, their pizza of choice. So I feel like after some time... The first time I tried it, I was like, oh, my gosh, like, this pizza is so good. And then after some time, I smelt it, and I was literally nauseated by the smell of it. Yeah. I did that to my child. I... He had, <laughs> he had food allergies, and there was this one gluten-free chicken nugget that he could... That was 
perfectly safe for him. So everywhere we went, I had these gluten-free chicken nuggets. He, I don't think he could look at a chicken nugget any longer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like, I cannot eat another not, chicken nugget. Yeah, he just gets sick of it. <laughs> He's just done. <laughs> and there's like some, but I, I feel like that's the thing. because There's some things that like I just wouldn't get sick of too. Like there's some food that I feel like I, I would, like chicken nuggets for you. Like you would never get sick Sick no. of chicken nuggets. No, I make so it many different. Exactly. Types. Like I might get sick of like McDonald's chicken nuggets, but okay, then I just go to Wendy's, exactly. or then I just go to Chick Fil A, or yep. Popeyes, or like there's so many options. Yeah. yeah. Yep. But have are you a Costco member? I'm not. Oh my god. Okay, Costco has these nuggets like frozen that you can buy like in the bulk. They're the brand is Just Bear. They taste just like Chick Fil A. We need to get those. I know. <laughs> Wait, They're Mrs. Amazing. Solzicki has a membership. I'm gonna I think ask I have her to get. My house. Did you just crack Chick Fil A's code? I th- oh, is it I just did. those? Oh, I, I cracked their. What code. if you like? What if they're? What if that is their chicken nuggets? That would be insane. That would be insane. That would be such a scandal. That would be a scandal. <laughs> okay, well, um, we got conveniently. Well, off. we kind of got off topic. Wait, but wait. like this is our next podcast. Are yeah. either of you Diet Coke fans? I'm not a big Coke fan in general. I am not a big bubbly person fan. Well, I'm really disappointed. I like bubbly the seltzer. No, just no, like bubble, bubble drinks. drinks. Like oh. I really can't do like soda like that. I but like d- 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 it a lemonade. Like I I love lemonade. I so there's a diet a good lemonade. A whenever. diet Coke following, and if you're not aware, the best diet Coke comes from McDonald's. Diet, really? yeah. Yes, my mom is obsessed with Diet Coke from McDonald's. Yes, yes, and there's a few staff members here. Same, and when one of us goes out to get Diet Coke, you have to bring back like twelve. Wow, because we love it so much. Because their yeah. recipe is different than regular Diet Coke. Like, what? What do you mean recipe? Don't they just get so like- the ratio of syrup to the seltzer yeah. water in McDonald's? Their ratio is more syrup to seltzer oh so every where your diet coke comes comes from tastes different like the can tastes different than a bottle Mm -hmm. tastes different than like a fountain drink and mcdonald's is the best that's i did not know that that's crazy i know mcdonald's scandalous too very scandalous i mean it's like publicly but like it's scandalous that everything is different we should do investigative journalism on like our chick-fil-a's nuggets frozen are they from Costco? Are they, Are from, they Costco? from Costco? <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we will be back with chicken nuggets. With that chicken is very nuggets. true. Maybe wait. we can turn on the camera again and like bring back the recordings. Oh, we could. Of yeah. us as humans? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should okay, do that. Okay, we're bringing that back. Oh, okay. I can't wait. I'm in. The, now, the next Mount Rushmore is like you all need to watch. So Tune in, friends. Tune in. Next week, hopefully. Can't or- wait. Oh, I thought you said can't I thought, wait. I said can't wait. Oh, I can't. thought you were going to do a sign off. Okay. <laughs> we, you guys do need a sign off. Though. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Mount, Ruff, on, of Mount Rushmore's. We will see you next time.